Hi, I'm Will from Meiku, and in this video, I'll walk you through the custom mode workflow and recommended best practices. Custom mode enables engineers to use any thermoformable material from any supplier with the multiplier pressure former by letting them create their own sheet profiles for the machine. Before we start, you'll need to update the multiplier firmware to the latest version and a sheet of the material that we'll use to create the custom material profile. The first step in using custom mode is selecting a sheet to use. You can either use a full size sheet cut to 428 mm diameter circle or a reduced sheet in either A4 or US letter size. The next step is selecting the settings you would like to form with. Each plastic has a different ideal forming temperature and pressure. So the best starting step is to either look on our knowledge base or online for a starting point to work from. In general, Thicker sheets require higher pressure to form well. So as an example, this one millimeter hip sheet will work well at 160 degrees and 45 PSI of pressure, while this three millimeter hip sheet will work best at 160 degrees and 60 PSI of pressure. Experimenting is the best way to learn about the materials you're using and the properties that they have. Once you've identified your temperature and pressure, the next step is to create a custom profile. Head to the materials list and select add new material at the top of the list. After you've selected your material type, temperature and pressure. You can optionally change the form time, cool time and heater on pressure. Form time is the time the sheet spends cooling under pressure. And cool time is the time the sheet spends cooling after the pressure has been let out. Heater on at pressure is the pressure the machine waits to before switching on the heaters. If you have a very fast heating sheet like EVA foam for example, you don't want it sitting at temperature whilst waiting for the compressor to reach pressure. This setting adds a delay on switching the heaters on, ensuring that the compressor finishes first so that you have time to place your objects on the bed before your sheet reaches temperature. Once you've punched in your settings, the next step is to calibrate the sheet. The multiplier has an internal sheet leveling system that uses a small pump to draw out air from the top of the machine, allowing the multiplier to heat sheets far beyond any other thermoformer. Our default profiles are all pre-calibrated with custom profiles, the machine needs to learn what level is for your particular sheet. In order to calibrate, simply select Calibrate Sheet at the bottom of the list. You'll be directed to insert and load your sheet. Holding down the up arrow switches the pump on, drawing air out of the machine and lifting the sheet up. During calibration, your goal should be to keep the sheet as level as possible. The more level the sheet, the better the calibration. Poor calibrations can result in bad forms hard to close machines and improper heating. So it's important to keep an eye on the sheet whilst calibrating. Once you've calibrated the profile, you can either save the sheet with the preset generated name or you can name it yourself. With custom mode, you can set up your multiplier to work specifically with your desired material characteristics. To learn more about our pressure forming products and accessories, check out the links in the descriptions and visit makeu.me for more information.